The reason that Simon Peter had denied Jesus in the first place is because he was afraid. And what's he afraid of? What's the worst case scenario that could happen to Simon Peter? He could be arrested and he could be crucified. This moment that seems so warm seems like the good, happy ending to the story. The band's back together again. Jesus turns around and says, the very thing that you are most afraid of, the worst case scenario in your life, that is exactly where you are headed. That is a terrifying thing, but that is a liberating thing. This isn't a word only for Peter. The scripture says to every disciple of Jesus, you will take up your cross and you will follow me. The scripture says of every follower of Jesus, you will suffer with him in order that you may be glorified with him. And the Bible does not give you a grinning, giggly, happy view of your future. The Bible does not give you promises about your best life now. The Bible instead gives you a word that if you look into it is terrifying. I am leading you to the end of yourself. I am leading you through the valley of the shadow of death. I am leading you to the cross. But if you understand that, it gives you the freedom to say the worst thing that could ever happen to me has already happened. What's the worst thing that could happen to you in ministry? What are you afraid of? What are you worried about? You are already crucified. And the best thing that could ever happen to you, what are you aspiring to? What are you looking for? The best thing that could ever happen to you has already happened. You're raised from the dead and seated at the right hand of the Father in Jesus Christ. That gives you a word of freedom not to be constantly trying to manage your life plan. 